director at Sky Matters, and he's from Hong Kong. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jack. Today, I'm going to talk about growth from small, simple steps. So, learning from Amazon, the name can be shorter, grow from S3. Uh, yeah, today I'm going to walk you through one of my personal experience contributing to an open source project, uh, which was not going really well, surprisingly. Uh, the problem is like this. The library name is called Active Record Imports. So how does it work? Once you need, for example, import 10 books records into a database at the same time, right? instead of writing 10 different SQL statements and 10 different uh, 10 database connections, you can write one and just say book dot import books, and then all the data, all the record insert in the database, right? Uh, so it helps a lot if you need to insert millions of data at the same time. Uh, yeah, and but now uh, some problem comes once we use enum in Rails. So enum is a feature since I think Rails 4.1. Uh, basically, you can define the enum attributes with some, uh, for example, the status here must be either drafted, finished, or published. Uh, but somehow, the value saved in a database uh, is always integer. So, so default, uh, so, by, uh, so drafted is zero, finished is one, and uh, published is two. Uh, however, to you, to do the assignment, you can say uh, dot status equal to zero or dot status equal to draft. Uh, yeah, only integer is saved. Um, sometimes in the migration, you need to have, you want, you want to have like default value uh, to the status, but once we use that again, boom, as an argument error says integer zero is not a valid. So my first question is, um, it looks like I'm not, I'm not sure why the integer zero is used instead of uh, so why the string is used instead of the integer? Then I look at uh, how does it work in the Postgres SQL because I was using Postgres SQL, and find out there's a method called pg uh, get exp, uh, expr, and this is a method to get the default value, uh, and the output is actually a string. So that's why we get a string zero instead of the integer. And then I think Rails must be smart enough to do the type casting, and we can always assign. Uh, integer attributes with a uh, string, and it, it, it should be automatically do the conversion. Uh, but somehow in the, in the import methods in the library, uh, it, it just use read attributes before typecasting. Uh, so it basically just read the attributes from the instance without doing any typecasting. Uh, and then uh, the place, uh, the place uh, raise error is uh, the, the, the one we call the method sends k equals to v. Uh, yeah, and uh, this is place because zero is not a predefined uh, string, and uh, yeah, so so there's an error. Um, and I was also asking why the test, all the tests got passed. If you still take care about, you still think about tests. So this is a model file inside the spec. Uh, it basically defines the enum status once the active record version is larger than 4.1. Uh, for active record version uh, 31, 32, 4, 41, and 42. Does anyone find the problem? What's wrong here? Yeah, the 2i. Because for 2i, at the most, it converts the version to 4. Point, it just uh, converts to 4, and the value is never larger than 4.1, so the enum attribute is never defined. Okay, so I get the problem. I know what's wrong. I got the failed test case. Now I roll up, roll up my sleeves. Okay, work hard overnight. And then I re received a lot of encouragement. And at the end, okay, uh, sorry, I go back. I'll go back. Sorry, a little bit. <laughs> ah. So, wait a second. So. So yeah, uh, and and I receive a lot of uh, encouragement, and and at last, the the author of the repo and it says it is the best pull request I have ever seen. Awesome, but it didn't happen at all. So the the reality is okay. The reality is I sat down and 
was not sure what was wrong. The first, I thought, okay, it might be a problem with PostgreSQL, but it turns out, okay, SQLite and MySQL are the same. And then I think, okay, it then might be a problem because Rails, I think Rails must be smarter than this, but maybe way, way, because Enum, it accepts strings like drafts, and it never should be convert that the string to, to integer automatically. And at last, I define, okay, I, I, I want to have a pull request to replace uh, read attributes before typecast with read attributes, which basically uh, do the typecasting. And then the first maintainer comes here, say, okay, why, do, uh, why uh, in our library read attributes before typecasting is used? Mm, I'm a bit confused because I thought this is a question I should ask him, and he should tell me, right? <laughs> uh, I was a bit confused. And then here comes another, uh, and here comes another committers. He said, "Oh, actually, the code was back to 2007." And but but go ahead, go go to use real uh, read attributes if that got test case passed. Really, 2007? You know, that was Rails 1.2. Oh, I got really sad about this. And then here, this comes another. Uh, the, the first commi uh, committer actually come back and say, "Okay, actually the." Typecasting is handling somewhere else, but, uh, but go ahead to, to use read attributes. And I was even confused because it's not logical at all. If there's the typecasting is handled somewhere else, why you need to use read attributes to do the typecasting duplicately? Uh, confused, confused. And then uh, I tell them, okay, read attributes is actually slower for the typecasting, 50 times slower, uh, because I think my pull request was actually not that good. Uh, when I was still thinking, there was another committer actually comes uh, in, in another pull request, actually made a very simple fix, and kind of get all the text passed, and he just basically changed the model dot send k equals v with uh, model square bracket k equals v. Uh, I thought these two are the same, but somehow they're not, uh, because the square bracket equal sign basically is uh, the same with uh, write underscore attributes, and which does typecasting as well. I'm thinking, okay, it's, it's, it's working, but not, ve not very good either. Uh, but at the moment, when everyone is, was stuck, uh, the, the, uh, the, the maintainer say, okay, I, I wanna close this. I wanna merge your pull request. Uh, go ahead, but I'm going to create another pull request and merge the changes of, of, of both of your, your, your pull requests. So this is, uh, yeah, this is kind of the, the story. And through the entire story, I had no much like positive emotions. Uh, and and the, the result was not very good. My, although my pull request got merged, uh, but I don't have much code to contribute it. Uh, but even this, I get some takeaways. And the takeaways is really something I'm going to talk about today. So the first, I know much more about the active record connection adapter, it is good design to support your uh, application, support multiple database types, and which is scalable. And the second, I understand more about the different types of assignments in active record and typecasting. And also, I understand how at least the default value works in PostgreSQL. And the library itself is actually pretty good. The people are amazing. This is a good example uh, or library to uh, as a showcase, how to support multiple Ruby versions and database adapters at the same time. And of course, no uh, Rails in a more. And, and here's what are takeaways I come here to for you. So the first, don't believe in stars. So for this library, it has more than, <laughs> so for this library, it has more than 1,500 stars, and it is updated very frequently. But even for this, there were still some mistakes. Uh, I think most of the beginners can fix and then, uh, sorry, second, don't think of making a, pool, a perfect pull request at the first. So learn from the conversations from others. Uh, and the last, I think contributing to open source projects uh, sometimes is trivial, like small simple steps. But sometimes even the small simple steps is not that easy, is sometimes not smooth. Sometimes the reality is like this. <laughs> so my, so, so my, first, my, my, sorry, my last suggestion is like, Go ahead, don't compromise. Thank you.